Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So NYX Cosmetics just bought out 12 brand new shades of the lip lingerie. So I have all 12 of the new shades here and I'm going to swatch them for you for this video. This video is going to be just like all of my other lip swatch videos. I'll kind of go from light to dark. The swatches at the end of the clip are all with the liquid lip dry so that you can see the true color as well. So the swatches will be up first and then at the end I will be giving a review and my thoughts on the product and my favorite colors in the line as well and also just a disclaimer I will be doing that awkward beauty guru pose in the last picture of the swatch so if you're gonna complain about it then maybe you should suggest something else for us to do when we're trying to show you the lipstick I don't know it's that or resting bitch face which I usually have anyway so so if you guys would like to see all 12 shades of the new NYX lip lingerie swatch keep watching So when NYX first bought out all of these colors, I did swatch the original new colors that they had. That was quite some time ago now. But basically the thing with the lip lingerie range is that it's all nude and neutral colors. So a lot of them do look kind of similar to each other. So these ones, Cheekies and Silk Indulgent, were pretty similar to each other. I definitely wouldn't bother getting both of them because they are so similar in color. One's just a little darker than the other. They were both kind of that chalky kind of coral color, which I love those colors. It's a very mod look. The only thing with those ones is an it's pretty much the same with all formulas is that it does take a little more than one layer to make them look totally even. And if you are overlapping these colors, they can get a little bit 
thick as well. So I will link the original lip lingerie review that I did. It might have some extra information that you're not finding from this video in it from my original review. But basically a rundown on the lip lingeries. They're such a great price point for the liquid lipstick market. They are only $7 each. So they're definitely one of my favorite cheaper liquid lipsticks. They are one of the formulas that's more on the drier side though. So if you do kind of hate that feeling of a really matte or dry lip, then this is not going to be a great formula for you. A lot of the other colors in their original lineup, I use a ton for bridal. So I'm sure there's gonna be a few in this collection that I'll be able to use. Cabaret Show was gorgeous and also this color Seduction, which is like, you know, a deeper kind of peachy, rosy shade. But Seduction reminded me a lot of Kat Von D Double Dare. Obviously, my favorite from the range is this one, Scandalous, that I'm wearing right now. Oh my gosh. It's like a gray with a slight kind of tinge of a browny green undertone, so I love that. It is very unique from any of the other shades that I currently own. I own a ton of liquid lipsticks. One that I was unfortunately most disappointed in, which I thought would have been one of my favorites, was this one, Delicate Lust. I don't know if you could see from the swatching, but it was just going on very sheer, so I think that you would have to layer this one a lot to be able to get any color payoff on it. So like I said, if you do overlap these too much, they will get thick and they will feel very dry on. Another mentionable shade was this one here, French Made, which is that kind of rosy, grayy color. I love those kind of colors, a huge sucker for that. I think it's more of just a, a wearable grayish lip. Not everyone's going to appreciate or want to pull off this kind of look. So something like that, French Made, more of that mauve kind of grayish is really flattering as well. So these are a true liquid lipsticks. They do not transfer at all. They will come off the center of the mouth if you do eat anything oily. But if you're going to wear them and not going to eat, they're gonna stay on a really long time as well. So basically my rundown for the NYX liquid lingeries are super awesome for the price point. Like I said, they are more of a drying kind of sensation on the lips, not uh, intolerable at all. My lips are quite dry right now and I will definitely be able to wear this all day without a problem, but I am used to that kind of matte feeling. I like that feeling because I know it's going to stay on. I don't really have any kind of scent to them as well which is awesome no chemical smell no floral or vanilla smell so for only seven dollars it's a great line of all neutral shades I love having these in my kit and they are so cheap that if a client really loves a shade then I always just give it to them as well I'll make sure I leave in the description box below my original video of the NYX lip lingerie. That's such a mouthful to say. I hope you guys have found this lip swatch video helpful and that you didn't find my awkward beauty guru lipstick poses at the end too awkward. Seriously, if you guys have any suggestions of what we could do instead of that, by all means, give them to me. I'm open. So if you love liquid lipsticks as much as I do, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more lip swatch videos coming up. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys for my next video. Bye.